So we're going to have a race see who can win the Tag Team Championships first out of the New Day, the Usos and the Street Profits. All of them will start at the bottom of their rankings. Raw's Champions will be the Judgment Day, Brawl and Brutes on SmackDown and the Family on NXT. So let's get on started with the... Oh! <laughs> Sanger and Seth Rollins. And Damien Priest cashes in, but Seth Rollins will take the championship anyway. But we're not here for Seth Rollins, we're here for the Usos, Street Profits and the New Day. So on NXT, the Street Profits have put them on there, but they've not been booked, unfortunately. So we're we'll over to SmackDown, can the New Day get booked on the first show? And they do, get Gallus Anderson and they lose. Unfortunately, Gallus Anderson get the victory, the OC win. Let's go into our first PLE, Backlash, and I don't think we'll be on the card, and we're definitely not on the card. So we move back over to Monday Night Raw. Usos first to Usos. Jokes, it's Giovanni Vinci and Tommaso Ciampa for whatever reason. Simulating and the Usos get the victory. And that is a win in the books. And we started a rivalry with the Viking Raiders. Back on NXT, nothing going on. On SmackDown, we're starting a rivalry with the OCF thing. I don't know, but it's not showing up as a rivalry. So I don't know. Monday Night Raw, Omos and Ludwig Geyser. <laughs> Taking on the Usos. I don't know where they're coming up with those random tag teams. Imperium must have like really just spread their wings and um, added, added in Omos and uh, Tommaso Ciampa. But nonetheless, the rivalry carrying on between the Usos and the Viking Raiders. Hopefully, this rivalry can result in a tag team title opportunity for the Usos so they can come first place in this challenge. So, let's see. In the main event of Night Champions, we take on the Viking Raiders after a couple of weeks pass. And we have a random selection. Who is going to win? And it's the Usos. Beating the Viking Raiders, so we are most likely to be the number one contenders for the Tag Team Championships. After Night of Champions, the rivalry continues, and we are number one contenders for the Tag Team titles. However, Street Profits and The New Day are still at the bottom of the barrel on their brands. Week after week goes by, and Street Profits and The uh, New Day cannot get booked, but The Usos can. Ricochet is some reason, but it's with the Viking Raiders, and Bronson is some reason, it is with The Usos. So, yeah. And this rivalry, this rivalry got out of, out of control with Ricochet and Bronson Reed at ringside and absolutely going at each other, pushing each other, shoving each other left and right. And John Cone took Ricochet out, sent him to the back. Bronson Reed thought he was safe, but no, John Cone's having none of it. The Usos then got the victory after the hard fought match. Then we go to NXT, and I've realized something with NXT. So I'm going through this, this run with SmackDown and Raw having nine matches each show. So New Day and the Usos have more of an advantage. But look, NXT only have five. So I'll whack it up to at least eight. Let's see if we get them on the card. But look, oh, Big E has betrayed us. And he's now teamed up with Bobby Roode. Big Bob and Big E. But, um, and they, they even beat us in this triple threat on attack. Some reason Uncle Howdy and Bobby Lashley teamed up. But anyway, the Viking Raiders and the Uso storyline carry on as they absolutely can't stand each other. These two teams absolutely um, causing war and mayhem all over Monday Night Raw. So, after this segment, we then moved over to the Street Profits finally getting booked. And they get the victory here in NXT. The New Day taking on Karen Cross and AJ Styles. And they're losing to teams that are not even a tag team. It's getting bad. It's getting bad. Jimmy Uso and Ivar about to go at it, but Ivar taxed him from behind. These two teams, absolute animosity running high. These two will clash at money in the bank. Ivar beats Jay Uso. I think that's Jimmy, actually. Anyway, weeks go by, <laughs> and we'll just keep going on Monday Night Raw because Street Profits and New Day struggling to get booked, and Jimmy was getting his payback after last week. He got taken down by Ivar from behind, and he was beating down on him. Lefts and rights raining down on Ivar. Following that, we went to NXT, hopefully hoping to get booked, and we did, and the Street Profits are getting victories of a tag team left, right, and center, and we took on Angel Garza and Alberto Carrillo, got the victory at NXT Gold Rush. Following that, the Usos beat Ivor and Eric so bad, they turned them into the Usos, and, <laughs> and the LWO took on the New Day, and the LWO beat the New Day, and Money in the Bank, this to kick the show off, who's going to win, and the Usos beat the Viking Raiders for a second time in a row, and... The Judgment Day keep the tag team titles. And look, on Raw, loads of tag title matches, but no tag title match. When, when is the Usos going to get their chance? Three Profits beat Humberto and Angel once again. Over on SmackDown, the New Day have started a rivalry with the LWO. So this is a, sh a, a shot in the right direction. And yeah, the rivalry has started and we're very happy about that. And the Usos are still number one contenders, not getting a title shot. Three Profits are still at the bottom of the barrel. So are the New Day, obviously, because they've been losing left, right and centre. 
Something tells me the Street Profits are about to jump up the rankings as they've started a rivalry with the Dudley Boys who are the number one contenders for the NXT Tag Team titles. This rivalry was um, out of respect, you know, two great tag teams going at it, you know. So, Street Profits, Street Profits took on Chase U once again and got the victory. And the Dudley Boys came to the entrance ramp and just showing respect, that's all they were showing. A little bit of respect, just clapping them, a bit of respect. But it's still a little bit animosity between the two teams. We've over to SmackDown and the LWO and the New Day rivalry is heating up. As Kofi Kingston is waiting for Cruz Del Torres to get in the ring and he does. And he absolutely starts to batter Kofi Kingston. Back over on Monday Night Raw, the Usos are getting some more W's heading towards their tag title opportunity. Here comes the New Day over on SmackDown as they carry on their rivalry with the LWO. And this is where the rivalry took a turn for the worst for the LWO as Kofi Kingston celebrating a victory. Hungry for a tag title opportunity, he then gra grabbed a steel chair and started to go to town on Cruz Del Toro. Knowing how close the other teams are to getting the tag team title opportunity, the New Day are sick of this, are sick of waiting in line and they are taking everything now going to SummerSlam they're taking on the LWO and the New Day get the victory over the LWO let's check where our standings are the Usos are number one contenders Prof is still at the bottom and so the New Day for some reason despite being LWO at SummerSlam and now the Usos are starting to lose now to the Viking Raiders on a weekly basis the rivalry between the Dudleys and the Street Profits carry on and this week well Devon and Montez was set to go one on one, but Montez Ford had other plans. Whenever to try to attack Devon, absolutely just just <laughs> just fell on the floor. And a neck breaker from Devon, and these two had a brawl, and Devon ended up winning the brawl. Over on SmackDown, we had no New Day. New Day was not booked after the win over the LWO at SummerSlam, and it was quite disappointing. Nonetheless, the Usos taking on DIY and DIY get the victory over the Usos. Usos not, not, not looking too good for them. Nonetheless, the True Profits took on the Dudley Boys here tonight in a, in a non title well, not non title match, a non consequential match. And the Dudley Boys, after beating them, then beat them down with the steel chairs, injuring Tez and Dawkins before their huge match at NXT Heatwave. And these two teams will collide then and there. NXT to SmackDown and SmackDown the New Day and the OC have started a rivalry and these these two teams have to go absolutely going at it. New Day are sick and tired of not getting these tag title opportunities, so they've taken out every team on the roster. Go over to Monday Night Raw and the Viking Raiders beat the Usos again. Back on NXT, I think this is the go home show, but towards NXT Heatwave and the Dudley Boys are still getting the upper hand. Go over to SmackDown and the New Day are carrying on their rivalry of the OC. Beat down the OC before their matches. For some reason, R-Truth and Austin Fury are teaming up. But <laughs> nonetheless, Universe Mode does well. Let, let, let it cook where it wants to cook. Talk about cooking when here at Heatwave. And the rivalry outcome is whoever loses goes to the bottom of the pile. And the True Profits win. And me and the Dudley Boys must go to the bottom of the pile, right? Well, that clearly didn't happen. As you'll see later in the video. Back on Monday Night Raw. And can they get booked? And they do. For the tag team titles. Finally. The Usos get an opportunity to tag team titles. Judgment Day are here. But ready to defend their tag team titles. Both teams need to get ready. Because the straps are on the line. This video could end here. This could be it. The Usos could come first place in this race. The match goes underway. The intense music intensifies. And we are about to see... Who is going to walk out the tag team champions? Will it be the Usos or the Judgment Day? Charles so Bell with a huge right hand to the rib cage of J. 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 Jay Uso. What was that? J -J 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 -J. <laughs> Jimmy drops Vin Balor with DDT and a kick out. A huge clothesline down goes Damien Priest to put him away to win the tag team titles. Anything could end this match right here as I'm letting the AI play out however they want to. And now a huge Samoan drop from Jimmy Uso. And Jay now drops down Damien Priest with a DDT and a huge forearm connects from Damien Priest with a springboard forearm onto Jay Uso busting it wide open but Jay Uso kicks out off the road now huge super kick to Damien Priest Damien Priest is in massive trouble as now count is made but only a one count Damien Priest kicks out Jimmy now flies from the top rope huge forearm missed Damien Priest now goes to the cover onto Jimmy Uso one two foot on the rope and the referee didn't see it bullshit did you guys see it? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Foolishness. Nah, man. The Judgment Day literally got away with that. The match should have carried on. 
John Cone, not a very sharp eye, and it just cost the Usos the tag team titles. So it's still anyone's game at this point, as we're carrying on the Prophets beat Duke and oh, and we're carrying on the rivalry with the Dudley Boys for some reason. Uh, anyway, back on SmackDown, the New Day uh, uh, getting a bit of, sorry, the OC getting a bit of payback on the New Day after the repeated uh, attacks for the last couple of weeks from the New Day and the OC, and the OC is now fighting back. They're barking back over onto payback. I'm about to end this rivalry, and the New Day beat the OC, beat LW and the OC, two PLEs in a row, getting victories. The Usos and the contenders, Prophet's still at the bottom for whatever reason, and the New Day still at the bottom. I don't know what's going on with the uh, True Prophets and the New Day, but yeah, and look, the Judgment Day got a whole new rivalry with the DIY, and the Usos have just been pushed to the side after getting screwed out of the title. Dudley Boys now picking up a couple of victories over the True Prophets, and oh, I was about to say the New Day can't get booked on SmackDown, but apparently the Usos have started a new rivalry with Sanger and Veer. Um, it, I don't know what's going on there. Nonetheless, the rivalry has died, and the Usos have some random beef with Indus and Sheer. And Ricochet is disgusted. <laughs> and as we go to NXT, the rivalry continues between the Dudleys and the True Prophets. And Jimmy makes his way down to the ring, and Sanga taking down Jimmy from behind, taking out that leg. And they have a one on one match, and Jimmy ends up getting the victory. But at the cost of what? Jimmy now can barely walk, hobbling onto the back. As Jimmy Uso gets the victory over Sanger, they're getting close to a tag team title opportunity once again, but at what cost as Jimmy is already hurt. Over on NXT, the rivalry continues between the Dudley Boys and the Street Profits, and then we go over to SmackDown, New Day beat the LWO, back on Monday Night Raw, Sanger and the Uso's rivalry carry on, and then obviously the Street Profits and the Dudley Boys rivalry carry on. The New Day get the victory of LWO once again. We go over to Fastlane and the Usos beat Sanger and Veer at Fastlane. And the Judgment Day retain the tag team titles as we go into Jay and Jimmy for Sanger and Veer on Monday Night Raw to main event and they get the job done. A couple shows went past where not much was going on. Raws and Smackdowns were going on and the OC was beating the New Day and it looked like the New Day had no hope. The, the Street Profits had the rivalry with the Dudley Boys once again. The rivalry continued between the two teams and we're going over to Monday Night Raw and the Usos beat the Judgment Day but it's JD and Dominic. We have Solo and Paul Heyman back in our corner and the Creed Brothers who are the tag team champions beat the New Day so not a good sign for the New Day. Over to Halloween Havoc and if the True Prophets can win they'll become the number contenders for the NXT tag team titles. So let's see how this one goes and the Dudley Boys win and the Street Prophets lose. Let's check, the, let's check the rankings. The Usos are number contenders for the Raw Tag Titles. The Street Brothers are number 5, so they've gone up a little bit. And over on SmackDown, the New Day are still at the bottom of the barrel. So annoying, but nonetheless, with a round trip of threat match, Bray Wyatt, Biggie, and Kofi Kingston, Kofi got the victory. And look, the Creed Brothers beat the Heart Foundation for the Tag Team Titles, so that's exciting. Um, unless we uh, go over to Monday Night Raw and we have another opportunity to take some titles. Let's go. This time we've got Solo and Paul Heyman in our corner. We're re reunited with the Bloodline. Make sure none of these shenanigans happen again with this f bullshit rope break. We've got John Cole as referee once again, but this could be it. This could be it. the second opportunity for the Usos at the tag team titles. The some are some would argue i would argue the best tag team to ever exist in the history of wrestling and the usos will go into hall of fame as together as the usos no matter what happens in their careers and a huge drop kick from finn balor and finn balor and damien proof looking to put this one away as the usos are in massive trouble and the music intensifies as jim uso brings it back and jimmy jay is thrown into the ring a solo it's distracting Damien Priest and a tag made and here comes Jimmy Uso. Jimmy now with a right hand to Damien. Huge kick to the face and a huge kick to the back of the head down goes Damien Priest into the cover. Hooks the leg on Damien Priest. Could that be it? And Finn Balor breaks it up. My gosh, how close was that? Now look out Jimmy on the top rope. Looking for a corkscrew driver on top of Damien Priest. Followed by that now Jimmy going to the top rope to put this one away. Paul Heyman and Solo to come on the outside looking menacingly into the cover and the Usos have done it. First place goes to the Usos ladies and gentlemen. The Usos have won the race.
The Usos are come the tag team champions before the New Day and the Street Profits, showing that the Usos are the superior tag team out of the three. Epilogue. Let's see what happens. See who won the tag titles. Who comes second place? We go to NXT Stand and Deliver, and the Street Profits got opportunity against the family. And one, two, three count later, the new NXT Tag Team Champions in the Street Profits. And the Street Profits earn themselves a second a second place spot. And the New Day, unfortunately, I became third. But we'll give them one year, so we let's, let's see what happens at WrestleMania. Let's see if they get booked, and they do in a fatal four-way tornado tag ladder match. We'll go random, let's see who gets the victory for the tag team titles. And it is the Creed Brothers who retain, and the New Day can't get the job done. But the Usos, nonetheless, are your winners in this one. If you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, comment down below, W. Please remember to like, oh, do you know what? Don't leave the like, and don't subscribe. Just, um... Just comment W so I know you made it this far and I hope you all have a lovely day.